any type of reading is supposed to be healing. The point of readings, including pet readings, is to let people know that their pets are alive and safe and well on the other side. A lot of thing with pets is that sometimes they can come back to us and sometimes they do. Um, if you've never seen A Dog's Purpose, I suggest that that's a movie that you watch. It will be a tearjerker, but it is pretty accurate in the way that things do happen a lot of the times. Um, so our pets can choose us over and over again. We choose to have lifetimes with them before we're born, and we do end up all on the other side together. Unfortunately, nothing lives forever on the earth plane, so we have to look at it as um, we'll be with them again, and that love never ends. Um and that brings me to another question that I had in the group that I want to talk about as well. So as Neo is over here hugging my microphone. Hi, Neo. Um, so when it comes that time where we have to make that decision for our pet and our dog or our cat or whatever that pet may be that we have to kind of let go of and help move, help transition to the other side, um, we ha that is our last act of love for them. So... It is our duty as their protector to make sure that they are not suffering or in any kind of pain and put ourselves kind of in their shoes. Would we want to live with the pain and suffering that they are living? If they can no longer go to the bathroom on their own or they're not being able to get up and live life to their fullest, they're just laying in pain all the time, then it is our duty to make that decision of last act of love and not be selfish about it and let them go. They do understand from the other side and they do understand why you're doing it. There, there are no negative emotions on the other side and our pets have a hard time leaving us in general. So we have to kind of help them along because they are so loyal that they don't want to leave us. And I'm getting chills with that. So sometimes we have to help them. They will stay with us till the very end till they can't handle it anymore. And honestly, that's not fair to them. I wouldn't want to be put in that position as a human. We shouldn't want them to be put in that position as a pet. So they still know and understand the why it's happening and all of that. And, and I actually are thankful on the other side. Hang on one second. It's allegedly playtime right now. Um, so they know and understand all of that. All right. Um, so that's one thing that you have to know. And, and seriously, my deaf dog. Um, be thankful for the time that you have. You know, when we have pets, it's, it's important to, you know, keep track of the memories, take a lot of pictures and things like that. But they do never leave us just like human spirits. They're still spirits and we still reunite with them on the other side. Everybody is together. The Rainbow Bridge, I'm not sure it really actually exist per se. It's not that we're separated from our pets on the other side. We're all still together with our pets on the other side. It's just a way for people to understand that, you know, they will meet them on the, on the other side of heaven, the other side of Rainbow Bridge, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it, it shouldn't be sad. These are, readings are uplifting. Um, they're healing and that's all that spirit usually gives. So they do actually, I love communicating with animals because they tend to be very, um, clear in their communication. So we have to think of it as we all end up to the, on the other side one day, um, together. So transitioning isn't really, um, it's hard for us as humans because we're stuck in that human mentality. So it is up to us to show that last act of love for them. So that's something I wanted to talk about because I think are a little bit harder to lose sometimes in humans because they're there constantly. They're the ones that are loyal all the time. They're with us all the time. So it's a little bit harder to release them, you know, when it's time for them to go because it's, um, they're always there. They're constant. They don't hurt us. They're loyal. The only time they hurt us is when they leave. So I think that's a lot of times. I know that I've had a lot more struggles with letting go of pets than I have people in the past just because um, I'm talking to everybody in general. So again, there is no regrets about putting any dogs to sleep or any pets to sleep. We have to do that. That is our duty to not let them suffer. And they are going to go anyways. It's not like if you didn't put him to sleep, he'd still be here running around playing. Unfortunately, bodies give out just like human bodies give out. That's just the way that it is. So if you didn't do it, he would be struggling 
and and it wouldn't be fair to him. So you have to let go of those regrets, release those regrets as they're not yours. Um, when they are on the other side, they are free of all of that. And it's only right for us to do that for them. Seriously, as a last... As a last act of love. Sorry, if he barks sometimes, he was acting like a fool outside. So I had to let him in. And now I guess he's going to act like a fool in here. Um, but they know and they understand that. They don't... Um, they don't hold any grudges. You have to kind of put ourselves in their shoe. Would you want to live that way? And it's not like they're going to magically get better. So we also have to take that in consideration as well. 